Do you ever want to create a map like this in Tableau? One with Alaska and Hawaii resized and repositioned so that the whole thing fits nicely in your dashboard? Well, luckily, there are a few ways to accomplish this. And today, I'm going to show you my favorite method. First, we need to find an existing spatial file of the US broken down by the boundaries or borders we want in our map. For example, state, county, congressional, district, etc. A quick Google search should bring up many options, but the most reliable source for boundaries in the US is the US Census site. For example, I'm downloading a map of the US counties. Next, we import this file into a web app called MapShaper. The US Census site provides all files compressed into a single zip file, and we can open this zip file directly in MapShaper. Once loaded, we can see the map. It is in a normal view with Alaska and Hawaii in their normal positions and scaled according to the projection used in the spatial file. Now we can open up the console in MapShaper and run a simple command called proj albers USA. Once we run it, we can now see that the map has Alaska and Hawaii resized and repositioned under the lower 48. Looks great. But before we save and export this view, we want to run it again with a couple of options to include and scale Puerto Rico. Once the map is reloaded, we run the command again with the addition of another option, and that option is plus PR dot scale equals three. This option is pretty self-explanatory. Plus PR will include Puerto Rico, and scale will give us the option to resize Puerto Rico so it's easier to see on our final map. Now that we have it the way we like it, we need to run one more command in the console before exporting it, and that's proj wsg84. Once that is run, we then choose to export from the top right hand corner, and we choose GeoJSON as the file to export. Now that we have the file saved to our local machine, we can import it into Tableau. I am using a workbook that already has some data in it at the county level. Once we have our spatial data imported, we just need to create a join between the spatial data and the data that contains our values. Okay, so now we can finally start to create our map visualization by going to a worksheet. Once there, we wanna to go to our spatial data and grab geometry and drop it straight onto the body of the report. Once that's done, we should be able to see the map immediately with Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico at the bottom of the map. Now, the background map doesn't match anymore, but we'll come back to that in just a second. For now, let's go ahead and add some data to our visualization. So now we want to go to our data data source. We want to grab the field that we used for our join and drop that onto details. That'll help to activate the join itself. Now let's grab a value and drop it right onto color. Once we do that, we should immediately see a nice coral path map. Now let's go ahead and go back to the map layers and remove everything that's in the background. So we simply open up map layers and go through and uncheck everything that's already checked. And once this is done, we should have a nice, clean core pleth map. That being said, this map is far from perfect. There are many things that we can do to make this map better. From changing the color palette, to even changing the calculations we use in the background to distribute that color palette. But that's a topic for another day. In the meantime, we can see that creating an Albers view map in Tableau is fairly easy with a few simple steps. Now, if you need some more information, I will be posting some more detailed instructions online, and I will include the link to those instructions in the description below.